What's happening? Crypto fam, happy, happy Sunday. Um, hope you're all well, hope you're having a good weekend. It is my level up day today. I have turned 35 today, so happy birthday to me. Happy level up to me. Woohoo! Welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. Um, whether you're watching on IGTV, Facebook or YouTube, it is a pleasure to have you here. I'm extremely grateful that you take the time out to consume the content and hopefully you like and enjoy it. If you're new to the channel and you do enjoy it, give us a cheeky like and follow on Insta, subscribe um, on YouTube. You can find Twitter, uh, Kurt's on the Twitter. So let's actually, before I move on, I got an idea this morning and I actually tweeted about myself on my own, my personal Twitter. So I've had an idea of, I think me and Tom Vase should get in an octagon and punch the shit out of each other. For charity, I think that'll be fucking mint. Um, I'm quite confident that I'll walk away with less bruises as well, because I've got some good kicks. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah. Someone sort it out. We'll get a charity fight on the go. Yeah, for for the, for the charity of the winner's choice. The winner decides what what currency is sent to him. Bitcoin or XRP. Yeah, and we'll let the fucking gods. Decide which blockchain superior, motherfuckers, and your muddy fudders. You can all get fucked. <laughs> anyway, let's let's get on with the actual vid, yeah? A network of networks. Mr. Barlow, Kurt, I can't find that fucking Amazon Web Services thing with R3. But Amazon Web Services working with R3. Likely working with Ethereum as well for the smart contracts aspects, but it could be Codius or someone else, but we'll have to wait and see. But basically... It still makes me laugh, don't it? When you know when, when another fucking ledger appears, or another network appears, another fucking Bitcoin or another coin, whatever, appears, and everyone's like, "Ooh, there's another one now." JP Morgan, ooh, JPM coin now, cross border payments, ooh, IBM, ooh, XRP, ooh. Got a, got a competitor there with IBM and XLM for cross-border payments. Facebook, fucking global coin. Oh, he's going to fucking kill XRP, that. <laughs> All right. The internet. The internet. Internet of data. The internet stands for in. Internet working. The internet work. Yeah? That's what you're basically fucking saying. When you say the internet, you're saying the internet work. The network of networks of data, if you want to have a fucking long haul of it, yeah? Oh, oh where, where'd you see that? Oh, on the network and networks of data. What? On the internet? Yeah. On the IOV, baby. Internet of value. So what do you think that means? So internet of data is a network of networks, of data networks. So internet of value, what, what do you think that means? It's a network of network. <laughs> it's a network of networks of value. So networks of value all becoming a network of networks. Internetwork of value. You can't have that with just XRP, can we? Is that it right? Like, you know, say we're, we're, we're fucking Ripple Maxes. And it would XRP maximalists. And all your Ripple fanboys need to wind your fucking necks in. No! You wind your fucking necks in and start understanding what a network and networks actually fucking means. XRP will facilitate the network and networks. You, you, I don't know how many times you have to fucking say it. I don't know how many documents we have to show. I don't know how many times we have to... Talk about the differences between X Current, X Rapid, X Vior, all the other shit that's coming out. What Spring and Coil and Interledger are doing. What Carver fucking Labs are doing. Amazon Web Services and R3. Yeah? If we need multiple networks. But like I said yesterday, are people really, really thinking that fucking banks and governments and Apple are going to use Facebook coin for everything they fucking do? Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Don't, like, believe in them headlines. Don't do it to yourself, because it's clearly fucking bullshit. 
I'm not sat here, I'm not, I'm, XRP is not going to be the only coin worth holding. I've said that multiple fucking times. I just don't know which one to tell you to get that I'm as confident as about. There's no IMF fucking documents with XLM on it or EOS. But it doesn't mean it, they're not going to gain. There's just no World Bank documents with them on. There's no Federal Reserve documents talking about fucking IOTA in the banking system, yeah? <laughs> Understand there's going to be a lot of autonomous cars and autonomous vehicles in the future facilitating the Internet of Things, paying for things through the Internet of Things. But again, when it branches to another network, even the Tangle is going to need a little bit of help. Because you can't just have one. There's a reason we have a network of networks, not only in data, but we're now building it in value as well. We said in the globalization video, or by none other than Chris Larson and a few others himself, the world will never agree on one ledger. It just won't. Otherwise, they'd be happy with a fucking dollar now. And they'd just build one fucking blockchain for the dollar. And you wouldn't... Why Why are you the euro in the, in the reserve currencies? Why is the euro in the, in, the, in the reserve currencies? The global reserve basket. The fucking euro's got about 20% on it. The dollar's got like 60-odd percent. The fucking Chinese yuan's in there taking dominance off, off the dollar for the last fucking five years or something. Last ten years. So if they'd all agree on one inter-networking in, um, inter bridge... A value. If they all already agreed on one, it, 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 they'd be agreeing on the dollar, wouldn't they? But no, they don't agree. And they do want a fucking reliable asset they can trust to bridge their network to another. Now, show me another coin that's done over five, six years of, of executing all the transactions, executing the ledger every four fucking seconds without a problem. Are you show me one that is going to make bankers lick their lips more than that, that's going to make all the biggest corporations in the world lick their lips more than that. They start talking about up to 80% savings on global transactions. Excuse me. Less than four second settlements. Because it's a no-brainer. Pa -pa 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 -pa. That's what the bankers were like. Bankers are like, oh, what do you mean, Jimmy? Fucking four seconds, fucking deal, fucking blockchain, fucking blockchain. Oh, Harold, Harold, you heard this shit, Harold, and four, four second transactions, apparently, going to save us at 80%. Oh, I've got to need some fucking proof for that, John. I'm, I'm going to need some fucking proof for that, John. F four fucking seconds. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> That's legitimately what was it? But at first, with a thought, you can imagine them fighting her at first. You got this little fucking 25, 35, 40 year old knobhead who's still basically a fucking kid to half the board members. And he's coming in like, oh, yeah, I can solve all your problems. And the bankers are like, what problems, mate? I'm going on holiday next week and I've just bought a Bentley. What, are you, what problems are you even on about? And then he reminded him of 2008 and 2009 and he reminded him of the Triffins dilemma. And he reminded him of this, and he reminded him of that, and the upcoming pending crisis. Yeah, and then he started showing him how much they can save and how fast it's going to be. And then he started realising how important and how big it was. And then he saw it was at $3.80, he was like, shit, crash that! <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, eh? Who knows? All we do know is that we are on our way. We just have to be patient, guys. Said yesterday, don't really worry about how much you've got. As long as you've got over a thousand, just do your best to hold them as long as you can. Get as rich and financially secure as you can. And use knowing about it to your advantage. Talk to people. Um, learn about anything you want. Codius hosts. Fucking use your knowledge to your advantage. You have got time. Don't delay. Go get some more today if you feel you haven't got enough. If the money's not there... Find it. Stop going pub. Stop doing something that you that you buy XRP instead just for the day. Live long and all done. Yeah. We love crypto. We love XRP. And we love you. Fuck yeah. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'm going to go and um, enjoy my birthday. Cheers. Peace.